you know, when you're early in your career, you feel that you have to listen. And when you buck, they buck harder and they make threats. And those threats are huge ones. And you, you, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't feel like you have a choice. I really didn't feel like I had a choice. Okay, so that was Carrie Hilson basically revealing that she was forced to diss Beyonce, a choice that literally cost her her entire career. But how exactly did Beyonce make sure that Carrie never rose again? Trust me, you never want to cross B and her beehive. I think we can all agree that back in the 2000s, Carrie Hilson was among the best, and she gave us hit after hit after hit. Then she released Turning Me On, and after that, it was radio silence for a decade. Reason being, she threw a couple of lines that shaded the hell out of Beyonce. In a leaked remix version of Turning Me On, Carrie sang, Your vision cloudy if you think that you the best. She can dance, she can sing, but need to move it to the left. She needs to go have some babies, she needs to sit down. She fake, them other chicks ain't even worth talking about. And it didn't even stop there. The song the song also seemingly included some shady lyrics about Sierra, whom Carrie wrote several songs for throughout the years. Carrie went on and also sang, go ahead and tell these folks how long I've been writing your songs. I've been putting you on, just check the credits. And if you want me, you can find me in Decatur. Ooh. Did she just tell somebody to pull up? Now, although the lyrics didn't explicitly mention Beyonce's name, fans believe that some lines from the song were a stinging attack on Beyonce. Move it to the left? That just had to be a subtle reference to Beyonce's song, Irreplaceable. And the conclusion on Sierra was based on the fact that Carrie had indeed written a couple of songs for her. At first, Carrie denied that she shaded Beyonce and Sierra, and she even called in to Atlanta radio station V103 and tried to put Put the rumors to rest while Sierra was in the studio and said, I just want to tell Sierra it's not about you. People are just reading way too far into it. People take things and make it what they want it to be. It wasn't taking shots at nobody. Mm -hmm. Sierra also calmly responded, cool, I guess everybody is here to listen to what Carrie said and I take it for that. From my end, it's always been nothing but love for you. I was very happy for you to get where you are. And then Carrie returned the love adding, I know that's sincere it is the same coming from me when I tell you that I'm proud of you. I've always meant that and I always do mean that. I've watched it from ground zero with you. I'm not jealous of anybody's career. We are like the same thing. I've worked with Sierra many times. I'm a fan of Beyonce's. Okay, Carrie, so then who was the song about? Because it was definitely about somebody and it sounded very personal. Well, according to Carrie, the song was about anybody that ever tried to take her down and didn't want to see her succeed. And she said that she was not going to call their names because she felt she'd addressed it. However, regardless of what she said, followers still said that Carrie was definitely shading Beyonce. In fact, in 2011, the beef reached newer heights when Carrie allegedly refused to hold an issue of Juicy magazine after noticing Beyonce and Jay-Z were on the cover. She was just like, Wanna hold the magazine? Just shout out Juicy Mac. Let's just say that the Beehive also did not let Carrie rest, especially after that shade. She was literally waking up to all sorts of insults online until 2013 when she decided that it was just enough. She wrote on Twitter, you have no idea what your hateful words could do to someone's spirit. Years of verbal ab from strangers all day long enough is enough she also wrote in another tweet i'm here for my fans i'm stronger than you imagine but waking up going to bed to your ugliness is just too much kids i get it okay you can stop now as far as whatever you're really mad about i had my reasons it's been years just chalk it up to your ignorance of my reality and let it go. As for my mistakes, God has dealt with me. I heard that. Obviously, followers interrupted that as Carrie admitting her shade towards Beyonce ruined her career. And she tried to move on with her career, but the Beehive wouldn't let her forget the beef. As a result, Carrie did not release a single song for years because the backlash from Beyonce's fans forced her to step out of the limelight. Later, Carrie also really fought back tears when she opened up about her hiatus during an interview with Cy psychic medium Reginald Lewis on a segment for Steve Harvey's Steve Daytime Show. It is kind of a comeback. Yeah. It is kind it of a, a comeback. comeback. Because I hit rock bottom a few times. You had to. Yeah. You had to. And that's the thing. 
And um, I'm crawling back to walking in my purpose. And I know you may want to say, but it's not Beyonce's fault that Carrie hit rock bottom, that it's her fans that keep dragging her. But the thing is, Beyonce saw what was happening and kept quiet. She had an option of telling her fans to leave Carrie alone or try to make up but she didn't. Plus, there have also been allegations that behind the scenes, Beyonce and Jay-Z sabotaged Carrie's career. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are. That was Uncle Ron, who was spilling all the tea about the extents to which Beyonce and Jay-Z would go to slam anyone who gets in their way. And about Carrie Hilson, he specifically said, Beyonce, how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are. How you step on anybody to stay on the top. Anyway, in 2020, Carrie's career was still at the bottom, and she even opened up about how the feud affected her career. In an interview on Out Loud with Claudia Jordan, she took the time to clear the air and suggested she had been pressured into putting out the song and that she did not have any problems with B. No one could ever compare to Beyonce. Let's just say the name that we're discussing. No one could compare. No one will for a very, very, very long time. And that was never my aim either. However, um, it was framed that way. Uh, well, no, it was it was absolutely framed that way. It was written that way, was not my lyrics, was not my writing. Um, but you had to pay the penalty. Was not my doing. According to Carrie, at the time, she really struggled with whether or not she could speak out and expose the ones who were forcing her to diss Beyonce. And then I'm caught, like, do I tell the truth? Do I expose them early in my career? I'm super young, super new. This is my first album. I'm so excited. It just soiled my whole dream. She also went on to say that if she could turn back the hands of time, she would try and handle her career in another way. But now she's finally free to be who she wants. And now I'm finally able to, you know, I'm kind of free from those um, characters and I'm able to control a lot more of my image, my perception, my character. It's me, it's really me now. In April, 2021, Beyonce and Carrie also appear to have squashed the beef with Carrie saying in an interview. See, she actually has introduced herself. Uh, it was a gracious moment. I appreciated it. Um, I feel like she understood what had happened, what had transpired. And um, there was a bit of healing in that moment um, when we met. And um, I think I take her as a very intuitive kind of, soul as as am i carrie even said that it would be great to one day collaborate with beyonce it would be a probably a very fun experience to do that um if she were open but yeah i do feel like she understood what that was all about so yeah she's she's amazing i've yeah, always felt that way that's the truth of the matter, but no one will believe that. <laughs> Let's just say that the Beehive was not done with Carrie because she was trending after fans learned that she was honored at the 2022 Black Music Honors for the Music and Songwriter Icon Award, and the comments were super harsh. It's 2023 now, and it looks like a lot of people are still not over it. And only time will tell whether Carrie will ever bounce back, but let me know your thoughts on how Beyonce ended Carrie's career. Do you think she should have spoken up after years of Carrie being dragged by the Beehive online? Sound off in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.